Well, sustainability is a very important topic for the entire U.S. beef cattle industry, both at the national and state level. And joining us now to talk more about this important topic are Jim Hanley, the Executive Vice President of the Florida Cattlemen's Association, and Gene Lawless, the Florida Cattlemen's Association President. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us here on Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Gene, let's start with you. I want to ask you first thing out of the shoot, how have you seen the conversation change over the years when it comes to this topic of sustainability? Well, you know, sustainability for years was kind of highly suspect, uh, you know, for everybody kind of looking, what does it mean uh, to you? And uh, so over the years, you can see that it's changed because now we have to embrace it. We know we have the most sustainable uh, industry in the, in the country, you know, with, with cattle ranching. You know, we have the story and uh, sustainability with the wildlife, with the waters, with all the things that we do on a daily basis. Absolutely. There's always a lot going on in the beef cattle industry and for cattlemen and cattlewomen. Jim, when it comes to questions from consumers about sustainability, what are some of the things you're being asked and what do you tell them? Well, Russ, in this information age, as you well know, people are getting so many different messages that you have to really dig deep and understand what they're basing their questions on but really they ask uh, they, they really ask about chemicals in in the that we might be putting into the environment they talk about the care and well-being of cattle how are they handled uh, are we are we hard and harsh on our land and our water and we we boil everything down in science we we make sure that they understand the scientific fact and when you walk them through the makeup of the industry and the economic situation they come pretty quickly to understand we don't use a thimble full more of uh, any chemicals or fertilizers than absolutely possible. You know, what are some of the things that state organizations like the Florida Cattlemen's Association are doing to get ahead of the conversation when it comes to sustainability? Well, we're trying to open our gates. We're trying to help our producers understand that we can't just stay out here and enjoy these beautiful ranches, but we've got to do a lot more outreach. We've got to communicate. We've got to be more proactive in our messaging. And uh, people just want to come and see it. If they get, if we get to spend a little campfire time with them, if you will, a little time in the woods, on the ranches, around cattle, around the families, if they just give us a little bit of time, they quickly realize that the real story and the real message is that there's a tremendous amount of environmental stewardship and a, and a hugely sustainable industry that, it, it, across the country. You know, Gene, let's talk a little bit about Florida's urbanization and growing population here in the Sunshine State and, and talk about some of the challenges along with the opportunities when it comes to cattlemen and cattlewomen like yourself in the area of sustainability and land uses. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, 22 and a half million people live in the state of Florida today and uh, with a thousand plus a day moving in. Uh, so you look at the challenge of urbanization moving out, you know, as I was talking to a reporter earlier this morning, you know, Agriculture always is fringe. Everybody builds out, out, and out. And now we're in the crux of being pushed out. So one of the biggest things is getting out and telling our story. You bet. Jim, I'm going to come over to you for just a minute or so. Let's talk about how the state associations like the Florida Cattlemen's Association are working with the national organization on this big topic. Well, Russ, we count on them to help us uh, with the research they do, understanding uh, consumers attitudes and perceptions and then they help us formulate uh, talking points that are that are understood and embraced by the consumers and the, the rest of the population base so it's a unified message we speak uh, in terms of scientific fact and we boil it down in understandable language that hits key points but the research that's done at the national level and the the uh, the manpower and the and the strength that they have, it it it, it trickles down to the states and it, it it has us all telling the same message. We just customize it to our particular part of the country and the segments of the industry that we represent. Predominantly, Florida is cow calf state, and uh, we have big ranches and cattle uh, stocked at seven acres per per mama cow, and it's not very intensive. But we have to have people understand that. Yeah, you bet we do. And Gene, let's kind of wrap things up with you, just following up on Jim's answer there. Why is it so important then to have cattlemen and cattlewomen like yourself who are on the front lines when it comes to very important topics like sustainability and conservation to be continuing to tell that great story that you have to share? Well, I think as Mr. Hanley already pointed out, uh, you know, we got to open gates 
we also got open minds. So by getting out and sharing that story about conservation, about sustainability, about the things that we do on a natural day-to-day -day basis is the importance for us to tell our story versus someone else trying to tell it for us. Gentlemen, as always, we appreciate you joining us here on Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Again, we've been visiting with Jim Hanley, the Executive Vice President of the Florida Cattlemen's Association, as well as the Florida Cattlemen's Association's President, Gene Lawless. A great way to stay on top of this and other important issues facing the cattle industry is to become a member of NCBA, and it's easy to join. Just call 1-866-233-3872 or visit the website ncba.org.